morning everybody and uh, welcome back to Hummer's Goats and Yolks. I know I've uh, not posted any videos for like uh, two months. Don't worry. Uh, I've got a month off from doing clinicals multiple times a week so uh, should be some videos coming out. Uh, today we're getting ready to go build this front breeding pen and uh, see when the buck's going to come down. Uh, the buck will probably come down uh, later August, early September, sometime like that to get everybody bred. Uh, we're only breeding Nellie, Bella, Mia, and uh, Sadie. Little bit's not getting bred anymore because uh, she had a that C-section a couple years ago. She's got a lot of scar tissue, so I don't know if I want to risk it. And uh, Dory is not old enough, so uh, yeah, that's what we're getting done today. And then i uh, going to go down and help Arden put uh, Hanel off tonight. He's been on squirrel barrels probably uh, as we speak now, so I'm uh, going to go down tonight when it cools down a little bit and put the hay away because it's... Uh, it's pretty hot guys, it's already I think 91 or 92 degrees right now and it's just supposed to get hotter from there. And the heat index is uh, crazy high for today so we're going to take her easy and uh, probably not work on fence too long, it starts to get too hot we're going to have to go inside because uh, it's not worth getting hurt or dying over so everybody's got uh, nice cold fresh water this morning so they should all be fine for the day of the heat. The goats are smart, they'll go lay down in the shade and uh, the chickens and the ducks do the same thing, so we're going to see what all goes on today. Uh, the garden, oh, I had to transplant some cucumbers and stuff and they didn't make it, so right now it's just uh, zucchini and pumpkins right now. We got some tomatoes that are green that need to change colors, but other than that, the garden just isn't, uh, isn't that good this year, and uh, it happens. I really haven't been home to take care of it. Mom and Dad have been busy, so... You know, some years it's good, some years it's not. So, uh, yeah, hopefully next year we'll do way better. And uh, so we're going to go from there, uh, Start get started on this fence. And All right, guys, so this is the front area that we're going to get fenced in. I think I'm going to work on the gate this morning and try to get the gate put in. The gate's going to go right here. And uh, so that way we can back trailers in there for stock and stuff like that because when the uh, buck comes up here, uh, it's easier than going through two gates over there to just put him through one gate here and it's going to make it easier in the long run for other stuff so we're going to go ahead and do that and uh, that's what we're going to do, I'll set you guys up and you can uh, watch Guys, we're taking a break from building fence real quick because I gotta run up town and get a box fan because uh, the chicken house, the exhaust fan is moving air, but with it being such a hot, still day, it's not moving as much air as we need to, and the birds are a little bit hot. They're drinking water and cooling themselves off, but I don't want to risk it, so I'm gonna go get a box fan and try to move more air in there. Yep, that's what we're doing, and then we'll come back and I'll show you guys. This time I'm gonna do a detailed video of how to correctly brace the post. I got the post set. So I'm going to do a detailed video of how to brace them and I'll talk you guys through it and uh, we'll go over it. So we'll be back in a minute. Alright guys, I'm going to set you up to watch me building the brace and then uh, afterwards I'm going to take you guys through it and talk and uh, show you guys what every part of the brace pretty much does. Oh, <laughs> 
guys so uh, I don't know how much of that caught because my camera overheated so hopefully I got enough of it and I hopefully I got all of it for you to show you but uh, so we're just gonna walk through and talk about this real quick so the post in the middle that's that's pretty obvious that's the brace post to uh, keep the post equal space that we win the ground settles and everything and uh, keep it from moving anywhere so the wire that we've got here that wire What it does is uh, it keeps tension on this post over here. And uh, the reason, sorry about the wind, the reason that we want te tension on this post right here, on the top of this post, is because we're gonna have a gate here. So we want tension on the top of this post because the bottom is being supported by the ground. So obviously we want tension on the top of the post so the top of the post doesn't move that way. So we've got tension going that way on the post. So. That's uh, that's what the brace is for. In the twists that we put in the wire, that's to tension the wire. And the nice part about that is, is I can come back later, and if it starts to get loose or anything, and I can go ahead and tighten that up. So that's uh, that's how to brace a post, guys. That's uh, the easy and simple way that I was taught. So uh, yeah, nothing to it. All right, guys. So what I'm getting done now is getting this gate hung. Uh, I'm not gonna get these other two posts done today because I have to go help. Uh, Arden put up hay this evening, so uh, we're gonna get the gate hung. I got the bottom hinge already in, but I'm gonna show you guys how to kind of line this up. 
what you're gonna do is you're gonna put that bottom hinge in. Normally I just set the side of the gate on top of my boot and there's enough spacing there for swing purposes. And then uh, you get you a lovely nice little magnetic level here and you get it leveled up. Okay? And then you're gonna mark where your uh, top hinge goes up there. And it's that simple guys. So uh, I'll set you guys up. Uh, sorry I didn't finish the vlog out last night, got busy doing hay. We uh, put up mm, probably 200 bales last night, 180, something like that. Not too many, but uh, Arden and Heath kind of put up uh, some the night before, so. Uh, all in all, about 300 bales was the estimate this year, not too many. Uh, really, not too many square bales get put up down there anymore, so uh, yeah. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you like the vlogs, drop a like down below. And don't forget, forget to subscribe. And don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Instagram, both at Hummers, Ghosts, and Yokes. Thank you guys, and we'll see you later.